This is SCL All Access. In all combat sports, there's no matchup that creates more excitement than the heavyweights. Copeland versus Alaris. I would say training camp is not much different than what I normally do every week. Uh, I, I get striking in six days a week, <laughs> jujitsu in three times, wrestling in twice, and strength and conditioning in three times a week. Uh, besides uh, stepping it up a notch and really trying to polish off my conditioning, uh, it's, it's what I do all the time. Training camp's going well this week, uh, past few weeks, stepping it up, getting the cardio in. Um, just uh, grinding it out. Uh, it's working my stand up with Clarence Thatch now. Been working with him a little bit. Um, Bobby, Alex, Huddleston. Um, Monday through Saturday, grind it out every day. Two weeks out, and my nerves are uh, just the same as any other camp. They're, of course, always there, but I'm using it to help me fuel my training and uh, be the best that I can be come September 13th. My nerves are, it's like a roller coaster. Um, you get into kill mode, then you get into that oh, what if mode. Um, so it's up and down. Um, right now I'm feeling confident, uh, ready to go. If I fight him tomorrow, I think I'm ready. Um, nervous, 20 fights into this already. I'm not nervous that way. I'm more nervous, I think, for it's the, the, the total fight. Uh, just, just how much is on the line. It's, it's personal, it's pride, it's everything. Um, this isn't just a normal fight for me and him. Um, it goes deeper than that. I would say that there's pros and cons to both uh, whether you walk out to the cage first or if you walk out second. If you walk out first, it's nice to get out there and get the feeling of the crowd. It, it kind of almost calms you while you're out there. And then uh, when you walk out second, it's nice to just get out there and you basically touch gloves and you're going. Uh, when I come out for the fight, I like to come out last, especially at home. Um, got a lot of people there supporting me. I like him to, uh, to wait up and I'll take my time and let him watch me come down. Uh, being in first kind of, it's not, you wait too long. Um, wait for the other fighter to come in and then you have to wait for the introductions and I don't like that. I like to come in second. I would say training camp isn't much different than my normal life. I'm, uh, I train full time, always uh, getting ready for the next big one. and. Uh, one of the best things that I have with me right now is uh, my wife that uh, takes care of our little one and doesn't, doesn't make me have to wake up too much in the middle of the night to, to attend to him. So uh, right now, all the, all the pressure's on me to be ready, but the burden's on her to take care of our little one. And I love you, baby. Impact on this fight it has on my family and social life is I have no social life. Uh, my family pays for it, I pay for it, that's why I take this seriously. Uh, training Monday through Saturday, I work full time, so it's, I work, start work at 7, get home at 3, immediately come to the gym and I'm home at 9 o'clock. My kids are usually with me, uh, it, we turn it into a family thing. Um, it's like that, it, it, training camps are, it's horrible, but they, uh, my family understands, they pitch in and we make it.